Right, what's all this about? Any more stories you wish to tell me? I don't think there's much you can say that will make a blind bit of difference. Daniel, do you remember when you were seven years old? How you and I spent the day together without your mum, taking the train to London, just us two, the Tower, Buckingham Palace and, and Madame Two Swords? Vaguely, why? I remember feeling disappointed because the Queen wasn't on the balcony. She said it was our dad and lad day. What a joke, eh? Just know that nothing has changed for me. I loved you then, and I love you now. You are the best thing that could happen to me. And I couldn't be prouder of the man that I brought up. This is hard for me because I... Because you're a liar. Because you fooled me. Well, well done, Dad. I mean, David. Top marks for the great reveal. Just one thing I really would love to know. How long? I mean, what age was I when you first saw me? I watched you being born. I was there and I held you in my arms for the very first time that you opened your eyes and cried. <laughs> Jeez, you could wail. Definitely it was. Can't explain it. The feelings I had. The rush of emotions. And when I looked down at this helpless bundle, I knew that I would be beside you and beside your side for the, the rest of your life. Look, I get all that. I've seen one born every minute. You could be reciting from the script from one of those bloody... Don't you dare! Don't you dare take that away from me! It was as real then as it is now. You don't understand. There's nothing that I wouldn't have done for you. Still wouldn't. Look, I'm old enough to understand that shit happens. I'm not a kid at this point. I don't know how I'm feeling. Look, I can't pretend it's not a big deal, because it is. You told me once that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's just lies. Tree? We weren't even in the same flaming orchard. I've done nothing but two for two days, but think back to all those times I was proud to have you as my dad, but none of that means the same anymore, because you're not... I don't know how to put this right. What can I do? I can only speak the truth. Better late than never, eh? I told you about Philip. I told you how he treated your mum and how she had to get away and how she cried to me on the phone night after night and, and how much she feared for her life. You weren't there. You couldn't have known the pain she must have been going through. I didn't understand it. So I come from bad blood then. Nice, eh? Look. We both do. Philip was my dad too. Hang on. No, if he was your dad, then that means we're brothers, Daniel. <laughs> You're still my flesh and blood. This is sick. Please hell, that means my mum and dad are actually stepmom and stepson. No, Daniel, they, they weren't married. I told you that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, that's okay then, isn't it? Priceless. You legged it with your... with our dad's missus. Bring me up as your own son. You... your brother. Half-brother. These are just titles, Daniel. They mean nothing. Baby brother, son. I've been there for you all of your life. I slept next to you in the hospital when you had your appendix out when you were 11, remember? There is nothing that I wouldn't do for you. <laughs> to me, you are my son. Tell me about Philip. God, what's the point? Excuse me. He's been dead for almost 25 years. Oh, how convenient. So if it hadn't been for Mum's gossiping online and winding up that Critchley woman, then there would never have been any need to tell me, would there? 
What rotten luck for you both. I just don't think now is the time to tell you about Philip. Why don't you call him Dad? That's what it was to us all, after all, bro. This is so hard for me. I just need time to... to... Look, if you won't tell me, then I'll just have to ask Mum. Look, can we let the dust settle for a few days? Your mum's very upset and hurting so badly. I can't be there for it. Stuck on this shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, once a liar, always a liar, eh? I know who will ask. Talk to you later. Let me give Jenny Critchley a call. Oh, Daniel, what's the point? Daniel! <laughs>